And on today's episode of Know Your Worth, uh, we get to one pickup and they are already gone for the weekend. And as we're leaving, we might have got another pickup. And we Ubered and we looked for a dryer at Sam's Club. Stick around, find out. What's poppin'? Brand new wig just hopped in. I'm gonna see if I can help these guys at all. I don't know what they got going on. Oh, he's stuck on the power line. Okay, we are at 57 degrees today. I'm gonna go out into Uber, just try to make like a quick 75 to 100 in the morning. I'll shut it, that building collapsed, man. Um, shut it down, something that my middle son would wanna see. He's like, Dad, I wanna see that building. Shut it down between like four, five, and six. Um, just turn it back on, people going to dinner and work through the night, unless we find a load, but there's even less loads today than there are yesterday. If you're new to the channel, I Uber drove for four years in Phoenix, Arizona and about four months out here in um, South Carolina, Greenville, South Carolina, and then I started being a truck driver. I went straight to my own authority, sold my personal truck, and bought a semi-truck, and went all in. So we were doing that for the last four, year, four and a half years, since 2018. In August, we started, um, and now it's just kind of, with the way things are going with supply chain, it's not that great. So we uh, actually, it makes more sense to just Uber and be home then go put my truck on somewhere else or close my authority because you don't really want to close your authority because then it's kind of like starting over again. You can kind of put it dormant, but your insurance uh, doesn't like to see the lapse in insurance. They like to see it just continue to go. So that's the only reason I probably am not just shutting down my, because insurance, if you, if you uh, my insurance, if you um, break it down over a year, it's like $750 a month. So I could make that with the truck. I just don't want to wear and tear the truck too much for free because these loads are pretty much working for free right now these semi trucks so it's pretty pretty sad and pretty scary out there but uh you could go company but then you'd be gone all the time you could be a local company again you'd be gone sunrise sundown almost most of the time so it's doable to make money ubering but i will probably buy another vehicle for ubering and i'm already looking so that'll be another episode of how, what to look for in buying a car and what car to buy if you're strictly going to say i'm going to have a side job side hustle whatever you want to call it of Ubering because you can make your bills. I have a thousand dollar mortgage. All my cars are paid for but one, which is that uh, Hellcat, which we paid fifty thousand dollars for, and we put ten thousand dollars down on it. So we're still in the green on that car, but um, the payments is like five forty a month, and then our insurance is about twelve hundred. Uh, it was actually like thirteen hundred this every six months. So we got ambulance coming. So. And we're turning left right here. Um, but yeah, Ubering can pay your bills if you keep your cost of living down. Uh, that's the biggest factor, I guess. Looks like we're hitting a dirt road. There you go. Well, uh, used to be a paved road, kind of fell apart, I guess. Either way. Um, yeah, so we're just trying to pay those bills. We do have two properties, though. We do VRBO, the second property, um, which we just had our second booking with it. So that helps a lot. Um, but yeah, I just want to... I really would love to be trucking again, but trucking right now um, is not worth the wear and tear in your truck. There's another ambulance going by. It looks like there's Chad right there waiting for me. Chilling on a dirt road, laid back, listen to some George Jones. The whole corner, cold beer in the console. Uh, something like that. All right, come on, Chad. What's going on, my, fount on, my fountain in friend? What's going on? I live over there in the Simpsonville, man. Hell yeah. <laughs> Awesome, we were taking Chad to work, uh, trying to find himself another car. He uh, lost the motor on his other car he had, so an old 94 Cadillac. Okay, now we are picking up Aisha. She is going a mile and a half, but she ordered an XL, so it might be, I don't know if she's at a store or something. Some people that go grocery shopping, they want an XL, but she is not at a store. She's at like a house. All right, we'll figure it out. Maybe she's got friends, maybe they're going somewhere. Let's go get Aisha. Before I get Aisha, I'm gonna go get a little quick refill, but um, I'm gonna see if I can help these guys at all. I don't know what they got going on. Oh, he's stuck on the power line. Oh, God. Oh, geez, that is dangerous. I hope there's no power to that thing. Oh, my gosh. It's stuck on the dang front of the reefer. Uh, go back it up. Man, that is scary, guys. Okay, okay, he's pushing it up. And the reason it's sagging like that right now is because they're working on it. Jeez, I would 
would, that would not be freaking out. Okay, okay, I think he's got it. Man, that's scary. Woo. Alrighty, T's and P's for him, yeah, because they're working on him out here, so. Clayton got through, all right. Okay, this will be our second fill up for the week. And we're down to 279. And I'll tell you about a tight squeeze, oh yeah. <laughs> uh, and we're at the like Walmart fuel station. Uh, Sam's Club was 280 and this Walmart was 279. Right by the house. We'll take it. And while they're putting more in the ground, we are putting more in the tank. Should be a good uh, 75 er because we were pretty low. We'll see where it ends. 72. So we were 71 and change last time. We're 72 this time. And that should get us through um, definitely all of today and probably a half tomorrow. Uh, maybe even all tomorrow. Who knows? Yeah, so that's $143 in fuel for this week. Plus, we had like between half and a quarter uh, when we started the week. So, we add probably 20 bucks to that. So, we'll say we're 160 bucks for fuel. And we're about 560 for earnings. So, 400 bucks in earnings. Um, but that's just through fuel expense taken out, not all of your other expenses, plus maintenance, like we did $100 or $60 break job. But, like I said in yesterday's video, or two days ago when you did, I did the brake job, uh, doing your own maintenance can significantly, not only your downtime, but your bottom line. So a $60 brake job compared to probably a $350, $400 brake job, $800 brake job at Cadillac probably. Um, and it was done right then, not uh, taking all day or two days to get parts or do whatever to do. Cool, let's get back on the road. I don't know what happened here, but this is kind of a busy intersection for, uh, oh. Yeah, yeah. Smash, smash. Typically, it's when you're trying to come out of that little driveway right there to the right, because there's a lot of cars just flying by. But T's and P's look like everyone's okay. But man, that's a heck of a rear end. Uh, we did have a ride, a ride pop up, but uh, there's a dumb toll road for some reason out here in Greenville, South Carolina, of all things. And it kind of connects from where I live, wraps around Greenville, and takes you out to the west towards Atlanta. Uh, it's like two dollars every like mile. It's so weird. But it had two of those <laughs> tolls on it. So it was like a $14 ride, but it had $4 worth of tolls. And I'm like, eh, and it was like eight miles out there. So I'm like, I'll pass on that one. So we'll see if we get something else just cruising through here. And T's and P's, everyone's okay with that. And then we'll do this for another two hours. And then we'll go spend the day with T-Dubs and the boys um, and get a little, little mission we're going to do. Mission with the red truck. So that road right there, that is that... Uh, I love this new song by Morgan Wallen too. It's called Last Night. Love it. But um, it's like a toll road, which is not a big deal, but like you're going to pay like $6 because that one was going all the way down it just for tolls. So we'll look for something else. Uh, it's unfortunate some people live out there. You can take the back roads, but it's going to take you twice as long. So all righty, we'll keep looking. And oh yeah, there was this load on the left. Um, J.B. Hunt had one going. Seneca is where... Uh, is the county that our lake property's at. So I thought it was further over, but it's not really that far. It's kind of right off 85. Um, going to Charlotte, and it was, I think it was a midnight delivery. Uh, but 600 bucks, that's a little bit light, like 850 minimum on that. There we go. Oh, someone else already took that one. That was a $29 ride. Um, sometimes there's something called trip radar where these trips like pop up, and then I guess it's the closest person to them or something. Uh, so yeah. And if you don't hit it first and it also be the closest car, then uh, you won't get it. But anyways, it was listed up there and then they counter offered right here, <laughs> $602. So it counter offered $2 more. I offered 900, uh, 900 I would have done that all day. It used to be like 1200 for that load. Um, but they, I think someone else got it because it's not, when I go into JB Hunt's app, it's not even listed. So it is gone already. It looks like they're delivering some beer over there. Alrighty, let's uh, keep looking for loads on, or rides on the Uber platform. We've only had two rides this morning. We'll get some more and then we'll go uh, do Operation Red Truck, but maybe we'll get a load. I keep looking at the load boards. Okay, we have a Prisma Health pickup for Joy, J-O-I. It's XL going to Greer, and then T-Dubs just texted me and said, hey, we're hungry and we're ready to go. I said, okay, let me drop off these people and uh, 
I'll get you going. I said they're at the ramp, I guess. Um, it's like a workout place down there. There's a bunch of weights outside and stuff, so maybe it's up here. I don't know. Maybe that's Joy. Who knows? It looks like she's walking towards me. It could be a win. Joy? Yes. All right. I was like, I hope that's her. <laughs> We're talking about ramps and stuff. And you're going to Greer? Yes, sir. All right. What are you guys doing there? Uh, I love that house up there. There's another house somewhere that has like bronze uh, drainage, like all the, the gutters and stuff. Dude, it's somewhere over here. But it's the same kind of thing. It's like on the corner. It's like when the sun is setting, it's like gleaming off. It looks really cool. I don't know what that costs, but <laughs> have all your gutter system be like bronze. Pretty cool. It's a nice house to through here for sure. Okay, and we dropped off Joy and we headed home because we have a mission to do today. Something in the house has bothered me for <laughs> the last couple weeks. So I said, let's go get that taken care of and go get some food with these crazy boys, spend some family time, because that's why I do what I do is because of my family and being able to do what you want when you want. So Uber fills that void also, which is very helpful, but uh, trucking is definitely the main money maker, but not right now at all. So let's, let's set the brakes on this thing, turn it off. Hello. Hello, both of you. Oh my goodness, you got me. You guys wanna go for a little uh, trip in the red truck? Hello. Yeah, you wanna go for a little trip in the red truck? Yeah, red truck. Red truck. To. Where'd you find that? I wanted to go to dad's truck. Oh, you want to go to dad? Oh. Can I sit in the front middle seat in the red truck? Yeah. I can sit in the front middle yes, seat. Yes, you can. Let's go get in the red truck. I'm gonna, I'm... Before we go, though, we have a box. What's in it? Fashion color in the red truck. Oh, are they? Oh. oh. I think this is mom's culprit right here. Okay. Mom's, mom's best friend. Did you talk about that? Oh, yeah. Ding, ding, ding. Oh, no, this is your thermostat. Ding, ding. Okay, well. Oh, oh gosh. Okay. Well, that's a new thermostat. It's like a whole assembly they give you. So I bought one of those. We'll do this all at the same time, but there's a thermostat and there is the temp sensor. They're right next to each other, actually. And we're waiting for one more thing, a nice hood latch for T-dubs because it won't auto start unless- I, mean, I was driving that yeah. thing and it was- all And it fun. never did it to me, just you. Oh, I would gosh. drive it and it was fun. I literally was like, oh my gosh. Seven minutes of constant ding, 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 yes. ding, ding, ding. All right, let's go. <laughs> Well, I really wish I was driving the red truck to the white truck, but we'll get a load someday in the next year or in this year, hopefully. Yes, here. you are here. And so is Cash. Hello, Cash. How are you feeling today? Pretty good. Yay. And you are here too. Yay. All right, ready? Let's do it. All right, red truck warp speed. <laughs> He doesn't actually put this transmission in together. I was pregnant with cash. Yeah? That's mm -hmm. how long ago we had this truck. Do you remember when we drove up to get the transmission? Yeah, in the snow. And we, so I was, I think I was 20 weeks pregnant. No. Oops. And um, Justin and I drove up to Colorado in my little Toyota Camry. Toyota Corolla. Toyota Corolla, that's what I meant, Toyota Corolla. Oh, yeah. With the transmission in the trunk. Yep, and then we get up there and there's like a blizzard. Yeah. And so we had to stop and sit at a gas station for like an yeah, hour. Truck stop, yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice guys, so they gave us transmission, gave them the core, because it would have been like 600 bucks to ship the core back. So we're like, what if I just bring it to you? Like that would save you a lot. I'm like, okay, run away. <laughs> now she's still in here, Suncoast transmission. Here Let's go. Yeah. Right. So we're at Sam's Club, Operation. Buy a dryer. Dryer. What was that? Why do we need a new dryer? Because it speaks. <laughs> <laughs> Why does everything make crazy noise? I closed the door and I can still hear it. Casey and I heard it when we were playing Minecraft. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Let's get in here. And get some uh, Super Bowl food, too, over here. Oh, yeah. Hello, how you doing? Let's find some dryers and some giant TVs. What do we got? We got a. 85 inch for 1500 1100 for the other one okay let's do this All right. thank you very much yeah. need to start eating the sam's more eight dollars for a pizza pizza pretzel three ices 
and two hot dog combos. I like it. Okay, that was a tragic fail on my part. Um, when we went to Columbia, we were delivering a load together, and uh, we walked in to get our Sam's Club membership, and there was dryers, like, right there. This, this Sam's Club, not so much. They have, like, one super high-line one. That's a front loader, so uh, we're trying to get a top loader. Yes, but we did end up with $300 worth of stuff we don't need. And you have shoes. Swim trunks, flip-flops. And a bunch of school snacks, so I guess so. Oh, and these taco platters are pretty sweet. Look at that. They give you tortillas and chicken? Okay. So I guess that means we're uh, off to Home Depot. <laughs> Mission almost accomplished, not so much. All right, let's load this thing up. So we're home while we're playing ball. Major fail with the, uh, good catch with the dryer, my bad. Um, we'll have to go to Home Depot another time, but there's this load from Coyote. Um, and the counter wait, 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 school bus coming. The counter offered, it was at 13, it jumped to 16. And then it, um, the counter offered 17. Then the counter offered 18. I was, I said 21. I'll do that for 1850, even though it delivers tomorrow. Um, go ahead, throw it. We'll see if they come up at 1850. <laughs> we will see if we get that load for, oh. <laughs> Catch at eighteen fifty. Good throw, dude. Oops, missed it. And they took it off the board. Um, it was eighteen hundred counter offer, but then you saw this right here that said you had to run seven hundred and eighty-seven loads with them in one year in order to book that load. Weird, but at least they are negotiating now, trying to come up. The biggest reason I really didn't want eighteen hundred, or even two grand, would have been is because it's a Saturday drop in an area that has zero uh, really good loads coming back. So Super Bowl Sunday, that probably is why they're negotiating, but at least they're negotiating. So two grand would have been great for that. I would have just deadheaded back home. Even at 1850, I would have deadheaded back home. Maybe they'll put it up later, but it's four o'clock now. We do need a dryer, but uh, maybe they'll, they'll call me or cut, cut, come back at it, but they didn't like the $50 extra on that one. But T-Dabs wants me to get out of the house. She's, like get, the house? she's like, get a load. <laughs> But uh, I'll get one. I'm not, I wouldn't go that not trying to skip on it, but if that was like a Monday delivery, sure. I'll take 18 all day. But for a Saturday delivery and Sunday's yeah. the Super Bowl, that would have been hard to come back. Um, to get back, I would have had to just deadhead. I would rather get up there, take a water load or something out of Richmond, Virginia, back home. So we'll see if someone else wishes. But that is uh, a relief that they're at least negotiating coming off. Because that load was $950 for the last two months. And it was like $1,000 every day. And now they just came up to 18. So that's good. Okay, well, we'll keep looking for loads, but that was promising. Watch out for cars. I'm just looking for All right, um, and then we'll see if we're Ubering tonight or what we're doing. But uh, my, uh, yeah, I'm going to go get a dryer also right now from the depot or the Lowe's. One of the two. Oh, God. Good jump, dude. Okay, then, got back on Truck Smarter, looked for a load. Man, these trucks are trying to get past me, these cars. Jeez, I gotta take a right turn up here so I have to be in the right lane. Um, yeah, it's NASCAR out here. I guess everyone's got somewhere to go for Friday. And so that load popped up on the left and then there was some kind of crazy sequence going on. Um, I, ca I offered 800 on it um, and then they counter offered 449. And then you can see right here, watch this screen recording. I said, okay, I go in there and it says that the 449 counter offer, then it says, book it now 800 and I was like well okay then I go to book it and then it goes 449 and then I look at the Raycon 449 so I'm like okay so what's going on here you trying to trick me or what so then I got on the live chat because I called Sage Robinson nobody uh, got to me and then oh, that's a nice sunset it's gonna be got on the live chat and it's the same person every time it's, their name's Taylor or his name I was like okay Taylor and um well, we got a little lawnmower going on up here. It said, uh, let me look into that for you. What's the load number? I said, well, I, it said it was booked for 800, but then I hit it and it says 449. Please send rate, update a Raycon. And it took a while, but 25 minutes later, uh, I got a new Raycon. It was $800. I said, okay, perfect. But now I have an hour to go. Only It's only like a 20 minute drive, but I got to get this baby warm and get there before six o'clock. And it's a straight through. So wish me luck. Wish me prayers. Um, but yeah, if they would have done that quicker or just had it done right in the first time, I would have had an hour and a half. So let's get this thing fired up, warmed up. So I'm just praying.
everybody in there in good spirits on a Friday. <laughs> and they want to uh, get one more load on there. It's 30,000 pounds. So let's see what they got. That's 20 minutes away.
miss the uh, curb. Because there was that truck coming. Otherwise, I would have went a little bit wider, but that Chevy was right there. Which I don't want to mess up his paint. stuff probably from ports or somewhere I don't know. Where, no not right there on the left a little further up on the left and you can see it not a hard back uh, there's not too many trucks back there if I think I'm going to the same spot that I was before which I think I am let's go yeah, not bad for 5 15 in the afternoon or at in the evening for Friday not too much traffic I was expecting more that's why that's why I was worried about the load coming out here I was like uh I'm gonna fight traffic at five o'clock. I gotta be there by six. Yikes. So we go through the stoplight and you can see a black SUV pulling out up there at the road. That's the left we have to take right there. I remember when I was in CDL school, you see that, that median right there in front of this Tacoma in front of us on the left, that little raised uh, concrete? I was coming the opposite direction with my instructor from my CDL school, who was a really cool guy. He was an ex-cop, uh, DOT officer actually. Had some great stories. And then my, my two buddies that I would hang out with a lot, we kind of grouped together in groups of three. You could have two people, two guys in a the sleeper. They had like chairs like we have in the front in the sleeper. They didn't have a, a bed or nothing. So you could sit back there and kind of watch and learn. Um, but we were back there, I was driving. And my instructor's like, I'm thirsty, let's go to QT. And I was like, just coming to the light and I, you can see you can't make a left right here. So he said, just go over that. <laughs> Let's go over that detail. All right. <laughs> So I just hopped right over, pulled this semi truck right in there. So that's funny. I always remember that because he's like, turn left. I'm like, are you sure? Like, you see that right there? He's like, yeah, just go over it. I'm like, uh, okay. Here we go. It wasn't my truck, it was the school's truck. Okay, so there we go. Take the left right up here. So you come down past 84 Bumper, it's right back down here. train and a bunch of dry van, dry vans just hanging out. Got one guy there, he's got his hood up, poor guy, hope he doesn't have too big a trouble. Looks like he's got a couple mechanics there, two trucks helping him. Smithfield Grain and uh, Chempack, that's where we're going. Chempack Inc. So I, the way I've run my authority, the way I've done this as much as I can, is be the truck that they need and obviously they just need this product that ankle for the weekend or maybe to stop production or maybe they just don't have enough of it on hand so we're going to try and get over here and get that to them tonight scale is for only smithfield okay swing wide for scale okay we're not going to scale we're going right up in front of oh we got a forklift guy we're going to swing wide for him make sure we don't hit him give him a wave okay he's out of the way Impact straight ahead. Yeah, so it's kind of a uh, blind side, but if, as long as there's not too much stuff in the way, you can you can make it no problem. People are still working. That is a blessing. Uh, what does it say here? This sign wasn't here before. We got a lot of nice mud in the left. Do not block parking lot. Dock. Dock nine through fifteen. Dock one. Come back one fifty Solway. Do not block parking lot. Dock one. Okay. Dock 9 to 6. Okay, so we go through 9 through 16 or Dock 1? Or is it Dock 1 is the one we want? Who knows? But we're going to go check in, but we're not going to park, block the parking lot. Yeah, I've been here last time. I don't think I've ever been here with the W9, but I've been here with the, uh, the Volvo like two or three times. Okay, oh, I think I know where we're going. We're going in that little, that little, uh, back in there door. We got to open our doors first, and I'll show you what I mean. It's like, if it's raining or if it's dark, yeah, you gotta be really careful. Let's try and line this thing up best we can first with a little blind side. Luckily we got those doors in our sleeper, the, or the windows, so I can kind of see a little bit better my trailer, how it's tracking. Uh, let's see where I can see my trailer. Okay, I can see it now. We need a little bit more and then we'll start cutting it back. Whenever I say cutting it back, it means getting my tractor nose back around so that I can uh, 
see where it's going. Oh, okay, we're looking pretty good. Oh, that, that window is perfect for me. And I'll show you what I mean. So now I'm on an angle where if I pull up, well, if we didn't have this thing sitting right here. Um, yeah, I need to, if that wasn't there, that'd be really nice. Cause I need a little bit more pull up than that to make this trailer go straight. But of course, let's put stuff right where it doesn't need to be. All right, that's a little bit better. Now we can pull up a little bit more. But I got a truck to my left. I don't want to bother him too much, but uh, looks like he's trying to go past me. So I'm trying to go as far back as I can so he can go past me. There you go. I'll give him the wave to go ahead. And then I can use that area to get my trailer straight and open my doors. All right, now he's not waiting on us. I'll show you what I meant by uh, kind of far back there. You'll see what I mean. See so, yeah, how it goes back into the building? So if it's dark or anything. Ken Pack. Yeah, it's going to uh, Ennery, Hankel. Uh, it's like 30 miles. What time was your appointment? They said be here before 6 p.m. Are they done for the day? Yeah, no, it's closed. Okay. That's it. Yeah, it's got like 37 pounds of totes going to Hankel and Henry. Let me call and see if I can all find them. Thank you, man. The wax stuff? Yeah, he got a C80 for uh, in Henry. 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 It's like wax. And Henry. Henry, South Carolina. South Carolina. Yeah, I've been down there before. It's just like a factory. Yeah, she said the one she got for uh, Hankel is going to Charlotte. Charlotte? Uh, well, I don't want me to call them so I can get an 80 number, or she said she didn't got nothing to ship? Uh, she said she don't got nothing to ship, but if you can get an 80 number, we can uh, see if we got yeah, it. I'll call them and see what they got. So I think they just don't want to work. They don't want to load it, but uh, I do have a pickup number. Typically, you go in there to check in, but they said everybody's gone already. And they said they don't ship the stuff I'm getting um, on Fridays. I don't know. So they said if I give them an 8 number, they can do it. But the 573 number I have does not work. So I'm on the live chat again, trying to figure out what we're uh, doing, but we're getting some kind of wax to go uh, over to Ankle. We'll see if we get it. But they got all kinds of stuff in here. And the, the rail's right there. That's where the train comes in. You can kind of see that. They unload it and then uh, get it going. Pretty cool how the rail works. Oh yeah. And the office is still open. I think they do open till six. They just want to get home. I don't blame them. But uh, the chat is saying that they'll be right back with me. They're checking with the customer team. I said, okay. They tried their hardest, but they couldn't get nothing for uh, an 80 number, just a 573 number. So you say that one don't work though. Uh -huh. Cool, man. All right, well, there's some new tone. I tried. Thanks, right, man. man. Thank you. All right, bro. That's trucking. <laughs> Okay, you can see right here, I was on corresponding with the live chat and um, they tried to try to expedite, try to get it done, but not happening. They couldn't get an 80 number. They couldn't get anybody to respond. So um, they said it doesn't even ship on these days. So, all right, I said, I'll get a, can you please issue a tonu. They said, we'll talk to the customer team about that, but not shipping it today. Unfortunate, two tonus in a row. What are we, what are we shipping out here? All right. And this guy that's getting into this car right here, I don't know if it's an Uber or what, he was waiting for the other guy to give him a thumbs up that he could leave. So that just kind of suspectingly makes me think that, uh, yeah, it's an Uber right there, that Hyundai. And that car was waiting this whole time till I, till six o'clock, cause it's six o'clock right now. And I got here at 525, so he's got his Uber. He's out of here on the Hyundai. Uh, whoever they had on the phone, she was saying that they don't ship on Fridays, whatever product we were getting. The wax, it smells like wax here, so there's some kind of wax what we were getting they said they don't ship that which maybe they don't maybe they do maybe they were just done for the day but the, all the signs say they were just done for the day <laughs> which i don't blame them but i did get here at 5 25 and uh the app shows that it shows that i got here 35 minutes before six o'clock and it was 24 um totes pallets whatever they call them pallets but it's just totes so who knows if they were back there somewhere i didn't see anything with the same name it was like a suffo wax suffo wax or something like that here nor there, it's just unfortunate we just um, 
last time the logo isn't going to be done until Monday. This time they don't ship it and the pickup number is wrong, even though I specifically had a 57. 573, like a six digit pickup number, but they were just saying, oh, you need an 80 number. And nowhere on that Raycon was there an 80 number or in the app or anywhere. And then he was telling me I need actual paperwork, like a BOL. I'm like, no, that's in the five years I've been doing this, <laughs> you never come to the shipper with the paperwork. So somebody's calling me. Let's see who it is. And with a crazy turn of events, that was C.H. Robinson calling me, but not calling me for uh, that load right there that we just left. Another load that I bid on that I was just, I saw it on the board of, while I was waiting for them to respond on the live chat. I was just, let me see what else is out there. I checked all the truck smarter loads and this one popped up. So I said, okay, I'll bid on that. I mean, it's all the way through the weekend. Um, I'll do 1250 on that. I just put the bid in on the app. Truck smarter submits it right for you on CH Robinson. And right as I was leaving this place, as you said, uh, someone was calling me. It was this guy, a nice guy. He was like, hey, um, can you get there by 11 p.m.? I said, man, I'll be there in 20 minutes. I'm right down the road. He said, okay, well, they'll definitely take 12.50 if you can get it there on Monday. I said, I'll probably have it up there Sunday night, man. So watch the Super Bowl and then head up there because it's only about 180 miles up there and uh, that'd be kind of cool. So we will go get that one delivered now, but that's a blessing that we got 12.50 plus the 150, 13.50 plus the 150 tono for the other one. So 1,500 bucks and all we've done is show up to two places and not get loaded. That were right by my house, so praying that this place loads us. <clears throat> Let's put that good mojo out there, that good karma. Um, as T Dubs always says, put that uh, if you're for wishing the good, it'll happen for you. So we'll do that. I was for wishing and good here, but it's Friday, it's, it's uh, it's beer 30 over here, I think. Uh oh, we got an ambulance coming or something. Got an ambulance, let's pull this side. Well, let's go put this one on the truck. So there is some traffic on the southbound coming back. Um, not bad. And what I like about this load also is on a Monday, I should be able to get something out of the Greenville, Tennessee, the Knoxville, Tennessee area. There's been plenty up there going to Florida or coming down here over the whole week. So we shall see. But there's top golf. The southbound's moving pretty good, but we're moving a lot better on the northbound. And we have like three different routes we can take to get there. Um, we're going to go right behind BMW. So we'll see. Uh, probably take highway 14 around the uh, west side of the airport instead of taking exit 58. 58 okay but I'm not really used to it so I'm used to 14. The Sphinx and the uh, QT right there. All right all right let's keep rolling rolling rolling. Fred Durst. Exit, uh, the 14 exit 156 was a little bit uh, backed up, so I said, let's take 58. <laughs> exit 58. This exit is pretty much dedicated to go right to BMW. It just wraps around the BMW facility, huge plant. Facilities. This is that 
load I did a straight through on where the guy was kind of mad and cut my truck off in the back if you've been watching the channel for a little bit. <laughs> uh, exactly the same place, so this one loads till 11 p.m. It's not even 7 p.m. yet, so it's like 6.30, 6 o'clock. So it took us 20 minutes to get here, and we left the last place right at 6 o'clock when C.H. Robinson's live chat could not give me an 8-0 number. Even if they did give me an 8-0 number, I guarantee you they probably still wouldn't have loaded it. They probably would have said, nah, uh, we don't have this. It says 500 feet on the left, but I am pretty sure... Unless Hank was on the back side, which I don't think so. So this is new. Do, 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 do. Unless it wraps around, I don't know. Last time they were doing construction on this, so I have to go back and read that sign. So I chose option one because it seemed like they put those barriers out a little too far and they were trying to persuade you to go this way, which it seems like there's a bunch of tire tracks, that'd be the way to go. So I followed that way. I think that was the right choice because it does open up. I was just worried that it was like an employee lot that wasn't going to open up over here. So eventually they'll probably have some guard shacks up there or something. Get my brights off of these guys. Um, check people in or something, I don't know. Here we go. This whole left side of me in the warehouse is uh, still being built. We got a bunch of scissor lifts and stuff up there. Putting stuff together. I'm going to kick it way back here so I don't block anybody. And I will just walk up and talk to some people. And say, what do you have going to Knoxville? And hopefully you're shipping it. And hopefully the pickup number's right. And hopefully you are not margarita time on a Friday. All the above. Hopefully. Get my lights off this guy. Uh... I'll just back in like the rest of the normal people and uh, not be sticking out sideways. Nice old, uh, I don't, that's not even called a 780. That bulb right there, what was that called? Uh, the one before the 780. Was it still a 780 or did it have a different name? I don't know. But they redid this asphalt because it used to be a big lip on that concrete right there where your landing gear would, would come down. There's a big lip on it so they must have laid this asphalt since the last time I was here, which was like last week. It's a nice beat right there, too. Right, let's get this trailer straight. Know your worth. Uh, she's doing, looking pretty. And she'll be going up to Knoxville for the first time in a long time. That's a nice peep. I need to get these lights, but I want them underneath. And I love his headlights with the halos. Uh, those are sweet. All right, let's check in. I'm running out of time. So. <laughs> well, that lost my bills. My commuter, she said, oh, there's still a bunch of head ID. I didn't lose the bills. You guys get unloaded? Yeah, I had to get a pile of bills. That's right. Are you guys getting unloaded or loaded? Unloaded. Unloaded. I didn't know she said that. How long have you guys been here? I've been here since 149 and I checked in with a 2 o'clock appointment to unload. I met mean, one guy that came in at nine. Almost five. five Another hours. guy was here at nine o'clock this morning. And left at four. Just don't have the room to put it somewhere. Or what? Organization, you know what I'm saying? All this stuff. Yeah, there's not enough room parts working together. She said that they, somebody told her that the supervisor, or some some boss man, had pulled a 36 hour shift and just <laughs> left earlier today. So it's like, yeah, so trying to get everything organized. You're not from here, though. Are you from South Carolina? This I'll is, live here this now. Is, yeah, this is brand new. Yeah. I brought stuff from the Benur over Duncan over here. Yeah. So I needed to just stop. My husband was here the other day. He lied. He got car off and sat here for eight hours. They kept telling him, another two hours, another two hours, another two hours. So get it off the truck. I sat for 10 hours at the Refresco off of I-14 for the they didn't have any room. Oh, I know. They're, they they're, they're, they're always off. like that. I'm, oh, we have no room for your product, right? I, I know. I haven't been there in a long time. Yeah. The last time I was there, they sit in forever. Just empty so, bottles. I was delivering empty bottles. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. Door 14. Yeah, when you pull out, you pull in. 
And when I get unloaded, you call me, or no, is that how you do out, it? They'll come out there and tell you that you smoke. Well, you got your door 14. No, I don't have my copy. You got to put your house out. All right, door 14, they'll let me know. Thank you. Okay, well, you heard that. Um, some disgruntled, angry people. I will all, all understand that too well. Uh, one was here like 10 hours, one was here eight hours, and whew, uh, that lady was not very, not very happy with the other lady. I think that lady was actually driving that Pete. Um, either way, they said go ahead and get in door 24, which is right there. So that's right where I was just standing. We will happily do that. But yeah, teasing peace for the freight industry right now. It is getting a little crazy. It just seems like they're really unorganized and kind of packed in there right now. So, all right, it's with that girl, 24. Okay, we are back to the other Cummins. There she is. Oh, she just auto started. There you go. Get warm, girl. It is not that cold out here, though. It's 59 degrees. It's beautiful. Our, thanks for anybody that stopped in that live feed. Uh, we got one pallet, guys. I was like, are they? Did they have something wrong with the, the um, loading dock or what happened? Because they just went on once and then just pulled it up. I was like, ah. Uh. He came out and said, hey man, I double triple checked and you just have one pallet. I said, okay. <laughs> so that's a huge blessing on top of uh, just kind of a rough week with two tow news and a 10 hour unload to start Monday. So. We'll start a better week next week. We'll be up in Knoxville Monday. And um, there should be some good freight, hopefully, coming down from there because Tuesday I need to be home for the holiday that is not really a holiday for guys, but a holiday for girls. The good old Valentine. I think that's a car hauler. That's a nice trailer. Maybe it's a moving trailer. I don't know. But you don't see too many trucks coming from this direction on this road. Mandat, M-A-N-D-A-A-T, Inc. Never heard of them, but uh, yeah, that's a nice trailer. Oh, wow, let's get this big old girl home. somebody watching us all right let's get some food and probably go uber you saw yeah, yes you saw me through the window yeah yeah can I see? yeah you can see can you grab your milky from your beautiful mom who hopes both teams will have fun i do hope it's some fun okay here's garrett and the crew we got it. this is the song they requested so here we go this is my request I don't like being alone. I wouldn't have been alone with you. You wouldn't be alone. That was fun, dropping off Garrett and friends. Um, I didn't get any video of their pickup, but it was a gate-coded little community, and they were going downtown to uh, sip. T-Dubs actually used to work at SIP. <laughs> uh, but now we are at Furman. So this is a really pretty campus, guys. This is up here just north of Greenville, about six miles. We got the call to bring some people down. I said, oh, I'll go up there and get them. Um, give them a safe ride back to the downtown Greenville area. But yeah, really pretty campus. Um, big old fountain right when you come in here in the under entrance. Breaks off to the right, and there is the housing usually. Where are they at? Yeah, there's the right. Sorry, I had to look at the uh, Uber app. Yeah, this is Uber on a Friday night in Greenville. We got a little stop sign, and it's only 10:15 uh, right now. So, got a little late start. Got back with the load. Hung out with T Dubs. Uh, tickled Cash. Tickled Kylan. Kaysom was already asleep. Uh, he must have partied hard outside in the backyard. The neighbor kids came over, so he was probably tired. And he also is the last one getting over the sickness, so he'll be okay. Yeah, this is Furman University. There's a little like clock tower back here and a nice little river that, or a pond, whatever you want to call it. You can kind of walk around. So, really pretty campus. Very expensive uh, tuition here, though. So, I will probably have to change the music selection when I get here because the younger crowd doesn't like uh, my stuff, but it's okay. I got all kinds of music I like. Let's see what we got there, right up here to the right. So, yeah, crazy day, guys. Uber in the morning, met some awesome people. Um, 
learn some stuff here and there and then went and looked for a dryer. Tomorrow's mission, I'll probably load this video in the morning. Um, and then tomorrow's mission will be getting a dryer for T-Dubs because her dryer is squeaking like crazy. I can't stand it. Oh, slow down there, guys. Come on. All right, we're picking up uh, Madison. There we go. Yeah, that clock tower is right to the left. You can see this is illuminated purple. They are the purple paladins. Um, what is their mascot? Same way up here. Can I get up to it up there? All right. Yeah, but all the student housing is over to the right. The freshman student housing is over to the left. There's like one dorm. Not a huge campus, but I am rambling. Let's pick up some people and uh, see what kind of music they like and drop them off to their uh, endeavors for the evening. Madison. Yes, sir. All right, let's do it. Let's go. What's up, Uber XL? <laughs> what is your music selection? Oh, um, guys, what's the music selection? You know, I get nervous with that question. You get nervous with that question? <laughs> just a simple, who do you listen to in your car? <laughs> well, just... What's poppin'? Brand new wig just hoppin'. I got options. I can pass it, bitch, like stop it. got enough quarter on my whistle. Okay, you learned all kinds of music while you are Ubering. So those were six young ladies going out for a birthday uh, to the downtown area of Greenville. All right. That was called Jack Hartwell. Uh oh, someone's screaming over there. Let's continue. Let's see what else we get. Maybe a little bit more low key. Okay, another Uber XL ride. Let's see who we got over here. And I. Uh, message them and said, are you the top or the bottom? And they said, we were at the bottom. I said, okay. That's what I wanted to know. There we go. All right. Okay, so that last ride, they fit like eight or nine people in here, like four people in the back to the side. It's unfortunate because you don't want to kick them out and say it and make it a bad night, but like, don't do that. If you go, if you guys take Ubers, do not try to fit more than six people in the car, please. And what did Anna get? She got a two-star rating just because they were on time. Don't try to fix people. Just order two cars. Order two X's. It doesn't matter. Either way, we're going to pick up uh, Jason now. Probably call it quits pretty soon, but yeah, Uber etiquette. Don't be scared to rate people horribly. They don't see the, the rating, but if they do stuff like that, they deserve it. So, all right. The police are on the prowl. I don't know if they're pulling that guy over or what they're doing, but we're going over to Zen to pick up Jason, and he's only going 0.2 miles, so probably should walk, but who knows? <laughs> Let's go pick him up. But yeah, don't forget, to, don't feel bad rating people accordingly, because lots of other Uber drivers know, like, hey, these people either pack cars in or they're just rude, whatever. But they were nice people, just don't do that and expect it's just okay. All right. So this right here on the right is called the Point Set Club. It's like a, I don't know how long it's been here, but um, dining room ball kind of thing, like a events, bad pothole right there. Event place, but uh, we're picking up Scott from it. And there is like a big opening in the front. But yeah, it's a really elegant place. Let's see if we can get in right here, here we go. It must have had some kind of event tonight. Scott's pin is showing that he's right here somewhere. Let's see if I can go up this drive. There we go. It's actually showing he's to my right, but I don't think that his GPS must be wrong. It's probably right here. Oh, they're wearing like kilts. Okay. Irish thing. We're looking for Scott. That's me. There you go. All right. I got here. Here's the plan. I got two people I need to draw off on of okay. Coffee Street. Then you'll take me home. Okay. Okay. All right. Let me go. Let me... No, this is not your ride. Thank you. Good. Yep. Good. All righty. All right. Is um, did um, Melissa go home? Yes. Okay. All right. Connor, you want my scarf? Yeah. Yeah, please. Yeah, How you doing, mate? You alright? He's like lemon juice or whatever, but it doesn't. Whereas at that place, she's like Another that right. place will. I'd, I'd go all the way to Maine okay. just to, to make it easy for them to get out. You all know, right. it'll. I mean, and we can jump out right over. Yeah, whatever makes sense. Be fair, for you, here's yeah. like just just a thing. So. Yeah. Do you live far from downtown, Scott? No. Okay. No, cool. an easy trip home. Sweet. In fact, you t you have to tell me what to do to. <laughs> I, I think it just adds an address, or maybe it just keeps track. I don't know. Okay. 
They're busy. What are they doing? Wow. Whoa. Let's go Where there. Oh, wow. Maybe we should go there tomorrow. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's crazy. It looks like they got a disco going on upstairs. upstairs. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're right, right here and I'm right. walking. Oh, they close the road. Oh, we can come we, back. We, we, can, we, can, uh, we, can, we, can, we can drop off here, yeah. Yeah, because we can just. We can walk. drop out. We can walk. Right. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry about us. The red yeah. lights will stay for a bit for you. Okay, yeah. you're good. Yeah, yeah. Thanks very much. All right, all right, all right. All right. Okay, I'm gonna get to jump. Yeah, all right. Take, Take care. Take care, Scott. Bye. Turn it off. All right. Okay. Scott is wearing a kilt, and Scott is not very good with the Uber app. <laughs> So he added his address, but he pretty much just added right back to the point set, or right back where he was before. So all good. Some people uh, are in, in that, inebriated, in, incoherent, whatever. But he has a bad rating to begin with, so I should have known that. But man, there's some pretty houses back there. So yeah, Scott, good luck to you, man. Scottish friends were really cool. Scott has Scottish friends. Go figure. But yeah, they were having a little shindig at that point set, and now he's home. Take a couple more rides and close this thing out. But yeah, riders like that, you guys that are Uber drivers, you understand that like he didn't have an extra stop. So he wanted me to take those people down to Jack and Diane's, the same dueling piano bar. And then he's like, oh, and then you're just gonna drop me off. But he didn't do that in the app. So the ride was supposed to end at that first drop with the uh, Scottish people. And he was trying to tell me how to get there. And there was, I know the roads are closed, but he wanted to do it his way, so. You do it his way. But either way, I was getting other rides after that, and I couldn't take him because now he wanted to go all the way back here to his house. So people like that, you go ahead and uh, just uh, don't leave the best rating for. But it's okay. It's okay. Then I just let somebody else know that, hey, uh, we'll give him four stars because he was a nice guy, but keep the ratings accordingly for other drivers so they can know, like, hey, you're gonna, you are gonna, might, you might incur some uh, difficulties. All right, let's go for another hour and let's get back home. And well, on that note, guys. God bless you guys. Please be there on Sunday for the giveaway. Check out Just Drunk and Die Shop. Check out safetyautoprep.com. And we will see you on the next one. Hey, Just Truck and Family. This year, we have partnered up with safetyauditprep.com to bring back our giveaways. This month's giveaway is going to be a $500 gift card. There's gonna be a link in the description. If you go ahead and click that, it'll show you exactly how to sign up. And in the description, there'll be a little bit more details about exactly how to win. Good luck.